Okay, welcome back to my playthrough of Banished. Let's see, is our town of Foxfieldsby? And where were we? There's not a lot of buildable space on this map, and I believe I set I set it to valleys and not mountains. So it's interesting that we didn't get too much space. Um, looks like we got a trader coming in. So I'd really like to start um, expanding our farming, but we need more seeds. I also want to expand our town out this way. Um, so I've already plotted down a bunch of homes here, so I'll just unpause those whenever we want to add some more people. And I'm kind of feeling like I might want to do that more and more, just start boosting the population. Um, not that that really matters or helps us in any way, but... We have tons of food, so we can afford a lot more people. And I'm thinking by focusing on the farming a bit more, um, we'll be able to handle a lot more people. So we're kind of going to encroach on this forester's lodge. But I kind of had planned something else for this anyways. I mean... I guess I could turn that one off and then turn this one back on. Let them work out of there instead. Alright, well, let's get to it. Okay, we're in spring. I'll go ahead and do a house, unpause the game. And let's see what our trader has. Okay, so here's our, I guess we were on the general goods merchant when we said, hey, bring us these things. Oh man. Look at how much they cost when you ask for them specifically. You know, I've played this game a long time and I did not know that it does that. So normally they're 2500 when they come in at random. 3125 when you ask for it specifically. Ouch. I don't even know if we can do that. Can we do that? Do we even have enough? What happens if we give away all 80 of our iron tools? 640. All 70 of our hide coats? Gets us to 1690. All 700 of our pumpkins? 2390. And all 340 of our firewood? 37.50, so we do have enough. I kind of don't want to pay it, but I'm going to because. So now I did look up offline, and potatoes are good only for food. You can't make any kind of alcohol with with them. And in fact, wheat is the only like non-fruit that you can make the alcohol out of, but then wheat isn't a food that people can eat. So it's like if you want to brew alcohol, it's almost better to have orchards and grow fruit, which is why I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna buy the pear seeds. So we don't want to overpay. Let's cut back on our 
iron tools, and our hide coats. So I need 220 more. I don't feel like doing the math, so I am just typing in numbers. Let's trade one additional. Fifteen, there we go. And then we'll just subtract a hide coat. Trade. Ah, uh, that trader ripped me off. Alright, so then we'll put pairs here. Um, farmers. And there we go. It's spring, so the thing about the orchards is they take they take a few years to oh crud I forgot to do something <laughs> remember earlier when I said you gotta pause and like as soon as you empty the trader inventory like we just emptied all of the tools and hide coats well then the trader will go and just snag everything and then it leaves nothing for anyone else see he just snagged all of the tools we're sitting on 37 hide coats and our limit is 35 so we should oh but he's going to come and grab all 35 of those yeah so that's what it was is we want to I want to lower this. 35. And I've got 51, so. Oh, that's because he already grabbed everything that we had, so let's just stick with 50. There. That way. I mean, he's going to snag all of our firewood, too, but it's spring, so we'll let them recover. House is built. See, there's old people moving in there. Everybody's, like, looking for housing, so... These people don't have tools. Ooh. Yeah, we got to get the iron going. We're going to need stone pretty soon, too. Especially if we want to build this, like like a hundred and thirty stone for a chapel, seventy eight for the hospital. So I think it takes two years or something for the orchards to mature and produce fruit.
recoup our recoup our tools a little bit. Hmm. Ooh, an early winter, that hurts. But we got plenty of food, so we're okay. I'm gonna start getting the hospital up and running. I don't really want to spend the iron just yet. there because they are starting to bring iron and I don't didn't really want to do that um, I want our miners to cut out some more iron for us first I need to get some other mines up and running we're gonna be a mining town when I wanted us to be a farming town So we should be getting a bit of a population boost. Yeah, we're at 16 kids, that's a lot. I'll probably hold there for a little bit because we added, what, one, two, three new homes in one year. Come on, iron. Lots of babies being born. Kids becoming students. I have too many laborers. What is that trader doing? Uh, the merchant is here. He's back. I don't really think that we've. Got enough to trade. What's our fuel doing? It's capped, that's good. Alright, what do you got? Sheep! I would like to buy sheep. Let's do it. Twelve hundred. firewood does it trade and then we'll add sheep here and we need at least one herdsman there's our little sheeps and there they go into their new home so now with two of them they should procreate. Reserve of tools is low again. Because that trader took some more, because I upped it. Maybe I shouldn't have.
How's our orchards coming along? Still not ready. It's only been one year. I think by next year they should start producing. holding up. I should probably put another one in. There's no point in putting them down around here because that's what the market, the market serves that same purpose. So it's better to put them out here by... by the farms. deaths. I guess it's only two. Um, what else can we do? I mean, we're kind of holding even on our... another early winter. Holding even on our iron, which means that our miners are keeping up with what we're using. I think... Might start getting this going again. Yeah, we'll just let it finish up. There's stuff here, even though there's no market vendor. I'm gonna go ahead and add one. We're down to three laborers. Oh, we just got a new one. Go ahead and add the physician now. with this particular game the traders are showing up really often I don't remember them coming through so often wool coat nah okay so we're trying to rebuild our tools so I'm not gonna take in any more of those um, but we will do hide coats so actually we're doing quite well on our hides and the hide cuts sell for almost twice what the iron tools do anyways so let's up it by a lot sheep. So now we should be able to start producing wool. Might already have some. No. Not yet. was killed by a cave-in. See, now I thought that the school was supposed to make people more intelligent so they didn't die from accidents in the mines and the quarry. I have to cut back on farming. How many gatherers do we have? 
So we've got four people gathering. I feel like maybe we don't need gathering quite so much anymore because we're focused on farming food. Could use an influx of nomads. That would help. Thinking about turning off these gatherers. But maybe not, because check out our food going down, but we actually look, okay, so we're now producing food for from our orchards. So that's good. So then when we build our tavern, we can make alcohol, but since we've got such a shortage on laborers, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push for that right away. Oh, and we could just buy ale instead. And I don't, I don't want it. I'll make my own, thank you. What does this require? It does take iron. That's not good. Cause yeah, we want to put, probably put some more workers in here, but we just don't have the workers. We've got a lot more students now and more children. I think we just had like a low growth point somewhere. And so that's why we are kind of seeing this um, sort of like low point in adult conversions from students, from student to adult. That's why I try and stay consistent with the house building. So if you don't want to grow too fast, like I w would put in like a new home every year, oh, we hit our limit of food and we should not have a limit on food. Let's go bump it up to 9,000. So we don't want any of this going to waste. Um, you know, so that one year adding three houses is going to create a jump, which means in 10 years, when those people are ready to die of old age, we're going to see like mass deaths as a result. And that's not always a easy to deal with. See, I mean, we're getting a big influx of people being born and people converting to students, but we need, we need those students converted to laborers to start happening. And it will in another year or so, I think, but all right, I think we're going to add another house. I don't think we even added one last year. Our hospital is up. That's good. to replace in the mine. Gatherers died, no laborer available to replace. That's okay, we can afford to lose a miner and a gatherer. Well, I mean, we need the miners, but... I feel like maybe I could drop a fisherman them in the mine, but seventy-eight living by herself himself. 
Hmm. So that's why I built that home. Somebody must have kicked their dad out. <laughs> Sorry, Grandpa. There's no more room for you. We need the space. Child born, student, student, student born. It's like, where are all the children turning adults? Come on. Another little sheep. We have wool yet. We're due. We're starting to get wool. I think what I'm going to do because of that is put in another tailor. Now we don't have the people to assign another tailor. So I'm not. Um, 16 iron. Yeah, sure. Um, not gonna assign a second tailor just yet. I'm gonna kind of wait for this rebound that I'm hoping will happen where we'll start getting some... I lost another fisherman. That's all right. Now a builder has died, but had a replacement. Man, there are people are dropping like flies now. Cabbage seeds and pecan. Now that I have pears for the orchard that I can also use for the tavern, I don't want any more orchard seeds. I want farming seeds. Do we have enough stuff for this? One thousand pumpkins. I don't want to use too many. Our firewood is capped. Okay. Let's cut back on the iron tools, because we need those. Um, let's just cut back on this. On food, okay. Trade. Now we have cabbage. Um, it's too late to go and plant it, but. Okay, so now I want to bring these numbers down. cabbage now. Good thing this game doesn't have diversity of food, of diet for the people to be happy. Um, Alright, well, I'm going to put in a cut here and uh, probably record another video right after this so I'm gonna take a break thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one